Father, we bless you for your love. We bless you for your compassion. We thank you for your way that is different from the ways of men. Be exalted, O God, in the name of Jesus. Um, today, the Lord will be speaking to us on what is called God's two-sided dealing. Or you can say the two-sided dealings of God. You can also say the two forms of God's dealing. And we are going to take our Bible reading from Genesis chapter 15 from verse 5. In Genesis 15, verse 5, God brought the old barren Abraham out to count the stars. But he couldn't because they were uncountable. God then told him that so shall his seed be. By saying this, God was assuring Abraham that he will be the father of generations. God was assuring him that he will be the father of many nations. He was making Abraham know that great nations will proceed out of him. Every journey with the Lord is a journey of faith. Where your faith ends is where your journey ends. Without faith, it will be impossible for the visible to relate with the invisible. In Genesis 15, verse 6, Abraham believed God and it was counted for him as righteousness. What is righteousness? Righteousness is a journey from faith to faith. Righteousness is a journey from faith to faith. This is why the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. Faith is believing. Faith is in your ability to believe. Faith is God's machine specially designed to read, measure, and detect righteousness. A faithless man cannot be declared righteous before God. Faith is therefore a substance of righteousness. In Genesis chapter 15, verse 7, God reassured Abraham of his promises and his personality. In Genesis chapter 15, verse 8, Abraham asked God, How? He said, How will I know that I will inherit all this? This made the Lord direct him to go and make a sacrifice unto him. In Genesis chapter 15, verse 9 to 10. When you give something to God, don't try to monitor how God will use or handle it. Because that can be dangerous. Abraham made a sacrifice to the Lord and he hid himself somewhere in order to see what becomes of it. When you give out something, that thing no longer belongs to you. As a matter of fact, when you count your belongings, it will be wrong to, to still count what you have given as a part of what you have. The rule of sacrifice was release and return. Now, the, the, the rule of engagement in that sacrifice was release it and return home but abraham didn't know this so what he did was the releasing part without paying attention to returning he gave a sacrifice to the lord instead of him to return home he stayed back as believing god was counted to him as righteousness Staying back was also counted to him as a sin of trespass. Abraham crossed his boundary by prognosing into God's affair. You can't help God. Don't try to be part of what God is not calling you into. 
Genesis chapter 15, verse 11 to 12. When the fowls from heaven descended upon the sacrifice, Abraham tried to help God by chasing them away. Only God knows what Abraham thought. Maybe he thought that God would descend with a spoon, knife, and fork to eat the sacrifice. In verse 12, there was a great darkness. That darkness symbolizes the anger of God, and immediately judgment was passed. In Genesis 15, 1 to 7, God dealt with him as a father. But from Genesis 15, 8 to 18, God dealt with him as a judge. That was why his childishness was not pardoned. If you have a father, and your father is your boss in the office, if you are wise, the way you relate with your father at home will be completely different from how you relate in the office because the environment are not the same. That's what happens when you deal with God. You must be wise to discern the mood of God. Is he relating to me as a father? Or is he relating as a judge? Your understanding of this will help you in a safe relationship with God. In Genesis 15, 13 to 16, God placed a curse on Abraham's seed due to what he did wrong before the Lord. Every child of God must be wise enough to discern the mood of God. It is not enough to know the move. You must understand the mood of God. Because until you can discern the mood of God, you may not know the move of God. This will help us to this will help us to relate with him rightly and with reference. Don't implicate your seed by acting ignorantly. There are certain things when you do it wrong, you may not be the one to suffer for it directly. The effect may be transferred to your seed. May God give us the required wisdom in dealing with God. May He give us the required wisdom that is needed. May He give us the needed wisdom to deal with Him, to relate with Him, to partner with Him in the right way without dumbling into errors. In the name of Jesus, may we receive grace to be able to discern the mood of God part time. In the name of Jesus, God bless you.